The year is 1906. The commercial film industry is booming, but it's very different than we know it today. One of the biggest differences was that actors were not given any sort of on-screen credit. The actors were anonymous, even reoccurring characters were often played by different actors. Studios figured nobody cared who was appearing in the films. Films themselves were still very much a novelty at this point. But of course, these studios were wrong. People did care. You could even say the first ever fandoms were forming. Film fans were communicating with each other through written letters and fan-published magazines. They would recognize the actors they saw in the movies and began giving them nicknames. One of the most popular actresses with these fans was Florence Lawrence, who they called the Biograph Girl, since she starred in so many Biograph productions. Carl Lamy at Independent Moving Pictures caught on to the fact that the popularity of Lawrence herself could be used to sell his films to audiences. He lured Lawrence away from Biograph with a better deal, credit, and bigger pay. But for his idea to work, he first needed a plan. He started a rumor that the Biograph girl had been hit by a streetcar and died, with Florence going into hiding for a few days. The media soon picked up on it and everyone was convinced she was dead. Then, Carl Lamy bought ad space in all the major newspapers, declaring the famous headline, We Nail a Lie. They included a picture and for the first time, her name, explaining that she was currently filming The Broken Bath. The stunt simultaneously put a name to the famous actress and promoted her new film, making it the first film to ever be marketed by its star. She starred in over 200 films over her career, eventually starting her own production company, the Victor Film Company, which was eventually sold to Universal. But then, in 1915, while filming Pawns of Destiny, she was severely injured in a stunt which fractured her spine. Universal refused to pay her medical expenses, and although she tried to keep working, it was impossible for her. After managing to complete the film Elusive Isabella, she was completely paralyzed for four months. By 1924, she was no longer able to get leading roles, despite her efforts, and her filmography devolved into uncredited bit parts. She attempted other work, including developing a line of cosmetics and inventing the first mechanical brake signal and a predecessor to the turning signal. But any money from these ventures and her film career was lost in the stock market crash. She was destitute, suffering from depression and an incurable bone marrow disease. In 1938, Florence Lawrence committed suicide. Florence had no children, no husband at the time, and her parents were dead. She was buried by the motion picture and television fund in an unmarked grave. Her grave remained unmarked until 1991, when an anonymous British actor paid for her grave, inscribed Florence Lawrence, the biograph girl, the first movie star.